Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm Melanie and I do a lot of videos. I used to do Tuesday and Sunday videos which I'd call my other content but if you've been watching my weekly vlogs you'll know I've been very unwell for a little while so I've not managed to do it. So I'm not feeling too unwell today even though I don't feel great but I wanted to unbox this so I can actually start using the products. There's one product in it I'm about to use now so it was either now or never basically. So ASOS released a monthly beauty box and each month it's a different theme. Sometimes it's one brand, sometimes it's themed like this month it's vegan. Last month it was skin, sun, tanning and sun care. The month before it's Korean skincare. So there's always a different theme. Sometimes it's a themed box. I think they've done a NARS one and they've done Clinique and they've done other brands. There's always a gold play card inside. Please feel free to pause the video to read this because I'm not going to read it out. I have already opened it. I know what's in it. So the first item is the Aveda Shampoo Hand and Body Wash. It's 50ml. It's a really good size. I mean... I don't know why it's hand and body wash, why not just call it body wash, because then you're thinking if it's just for hands, I know it says hand and body, but you know, hand wash tends to be cheaper than body wash, so I don't know, I'm either going to use it or put it in my hospital bag or my going away bag, but I'm more likely to end up in hospital, so it's probably going to go in there, it smells quite nice, I don't think I've ever had anything by Aveda or Aveda, depending on how you want to pronounce it but I don't think I've had anything by them before this is the Love Beauty and Planet Shea Butter and Sandalwood Oil Shea Velvet Body Lotion for nourished and smooth skin and acts of love for our planet it's vegan this smells absolutely beautiful it's not a thick body lotion it's quite thin so if you've got dry skin I wouldn't say this would be for you Again, I've never used this brand, I've never even heard of this brand. I feel like this is going to go in my hospital bag and if I don't use it for hospital, I will take it away next time I go away. It's the perfect size for a week away, so yeah, I'm really happy with that one. This is super cute, I mean I wouldn't take it out of the house with me, but I like the design. I have looked up this because there's no information on it, and the big bottle of this it comes in a bigger size and it does I don't think it has that so this is hangover her elixir and Irish whiskey for unreal shine we are paradox so it's basically like um, a serum type thing that you put in the ends of your hair so I'd probably say the bottom third of your hair unless you've got really long hair then I'd say the bottom fifth the full size of this I think is either 30 or 50 mil and it's 30 pounds so I think it's one of those where you need a little bit and I will be using it today because I am about to have a bath followed by a shower to wash my hair afterwards. This is an item I'm really happy about. I've always wanted to try burn minerals but it's quite expensive. I want to try the, um, they've got this, is it complexion rescue cream or whatever and it's like a tinted moisturiser but it's like £30 and it's a lot of money. Um, they do actually sell this size because this is obviously not a full size it's a luxury sample and this is £12 and I believe the bigger version is £18 or £20 but this will last quite a while I love the size of it and my powder is, a, is getting very low but it's lasted me a long time because I only mainly use it on my forehead and under my eyes a little bit on my nose and if I've concealed any spots a little bit there but I would never use a full face of powder so definitely looking forward to trying this some people just use this as a foundation but it's going to be a powder for me and the final item is this matcha lemongrass essential oil matcha tea powder bath ball that's a bath bomb so anyone who knows me knows I'm a big fan of Lavana bath bombs and they're the bath bombs I use and 
I was a little bit concerned about this and I read the ingredients and it's all 100% natural ingredients. This is the sort of ingredients that a Levana bath bomb would have in. So it's as good as a Levana bath bomb. It's, it's you know, it's pretty amazing. So it smells absolutely wonderful. And this is what I'm about to use. I ran my bath a long time ago. I'm probably gonna have to top the water up. But I wanted to film this video just so I could show this so that's everything in the may edition of the asos beauty box i know it's three weeks into may i don't know if this is still available but they release a box every month around between the first and the third of the month so it's always worth checking on the website on those days which i will be doing i've bought every single box except for four or five because there's been ones like the korean skincare one i didn't really think it was worth the money ASOS have their own makeup brand. I did buy the first box they released with their own makeup, but the second box I didn't because the makeup isn't very good. And there's been a couple of us. One was a limited, one was one was a branded one, and it sold out before I saw it. But I do always try and get it. It used to be ten pound a month, but it has gone up to twelve pound a month. And the branded ones tend to be fifteen pounds, like the Clinique one, which I got, which was amazing. Sorry if the lighting's gone a bit dull, I'm using natural lighting for once. Normally I have a, a light box on, but I don't today. If you have any questions about any of these items, please leave it in the comments section below. Like, what do I think of them? Would I buy them again? Um, that's the only way you're going to find out because I don't generally talk about many products in my vlogs. But you will probably see me using the Matcha bath bomb in a vlog. Because I film as much as I can. If you're new to my channel, it'd be fantastic if you could subscribe. I seem to be stuck around 217 at the moment. I'd love to get to 250, 300 and so on. And don't forget, even if you have subscribed and you've not done this, please click the notification bell button, which you can see next to where it says subscribe. And then you'll just get an alert when I upload a video because they don't always go in the subscription boxes. So you might think, oh, she's not put a video up for two months when I might have put 50 up. You don't know. So don't forget to do that. And I'll be back soon with my next weekly vlog. And in June, I should be back with two to four Tuesday and Sunday videos. Thank you for watching, everyone.